Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting Catan game. Hope you enjoy it. Let's go. Let's try to win this thing. I feel like uh, we need a victory soon. Um, yeah, this game we're going second, playing ranked, so a tough competition, most likely. On this board, there is um, just one good wheat spot with the five wheat in the top left, the top right corner, and uh, best. Or is concentrated on the 8-4 on the left side. Blue at first goes with the best brick concentration with the 5-9-10. Should we go with the best wheat or the ore? I think we, we should take the best wheat in the game. Point to the wheat port. But um, should be a little commodity and um, people should try to, to trade advantageously for us. Let's see, let's see what happens. Um, black goes with the 369, red goes with the 5611. So yeah, and red takes all the ore. As fourth pick, they get uh, all five resources. Not the best wheat, that's for sure, but uh, still pretty good setup for uh, first place, especially. Black goes with the uh, 9, 10, 11 for their second settlement. Not taking the ore. They could have taken the ore somehow. Or maybe 10, 3, 10, 11 with a road pointing to the 4, 9, 11 with four ore. Mm. Let's go with high production, 8, 4, 3. No ore this game for us. The other option would have been uh, 8, 3-8 with the oil port, the one that blue took. But um, <clears throat> yeah, let's try with more production, less ore, and see if we can get above a 7 point score. Good luck, have fun to everyone. First roll of the game is a 7, and blue blocks the 11 wheat directly. Steals from black, now a 6. Yeah, <clears throat> not. Uh, not the best setup, I think we should be careful with uh, red, because they have all the ore. Maybe blue as well, blue is lacking sheep, everyone else has good sheep. But uh, let's see how their trading skills are. Red built the first road of the game. Nine, a nine rolls, and black actually gets two wood for every nine. Another six, and another six. There have been quite a lot of sixes this game, so um, everyone has sheep and red actually gives a sheep to, to blue, one for one, <clears throat> not the best. Sheep for wood, yeah, helping blue a lot that uh, for their first settlement, blue builds their first road and we roll a seven and red has to discard. I think we should block the eight ore or the ten brick. Oh, we didn't move in time and the bot placed the robber on the six sheep. Ah, that's so bad. Uh, yeah, um, not, not the best outcome, but still. Blue rolls a, a seven now and they block the 11 wheat again, stealing from red. They buy the first death card, death card of the game. Let's see if we can get some uh, useful stuff here. We get ore from uh, blue for a wood. Let's see if we can get some brick or just uh, buy a death card to go on the eight cards. Not get uh, robbed and the seven rolls immediately and that was a good decision it seems. Black blocks the um, <coughs> eight uh, wood, eight ore against blue and red. That's uh, what we wanted to do in the first uh, first time. And actually black gives uh, red a wheat for a, a road. I was thinking about that myself, but um, that helps red a lot. They are the first to settle and they already have a monster setup, so that's why I didn't want to do it, but still they managed to do it with black. And uh, now 
we are again uh, over seven cards we need to build a road at least and let's try to go to the sheep port nine rolls the sheep port would be quite useful even if uh, we have to spend uh, a few roads to get there but we are already double settled on the wheat on the eight sheep black is building lots of roads oh wow they build three roads take the longest and um, actually block our access to to the sheep world. that's crazy that's crazy seven rolls now and um, red blocks the 10 brick our 10 brick and because black has zero cards they steal a wood from us i think uh and now the 10 rolls immediately afterwards of course let's defend here we block the 11 wheat again because wheat is such a rare resource i think it makes sense to to block it against red and black now a uh, lot of cards and um yeah we we preemptively trade the sheep for brick to to have brick for the first settlement another nine the ninth, nines and sixes have rolled a lot this game and now a three giving uh, blue and uh, black some much needed wheat blue manages to settle and buy a death card so they already have two death cards in hand no one is willing to trade so we cannot settle this turn black rolls a seven and they have to discard uh, poor black they they are leading in points but uh, they are actually not that far ahead they just have the longest road block the eight ore and uh, steal from red another nine rolls a two but black didn't manage to settle yet so they don't get the wheat from the two and we roll a seven <clears throat> i think we should block uh, something more valuable or more productive for uh, against red and blue like the six sheep and uh, that way maybe they they need a sheep and the trade with us if an eight rolls of course now it was four i don't know the actual state of um, reds or production couple of nines consecutively and blue uses a knight after they roll they block the 11 wheat again and they steal from black i don't know why from black because red seems like a much bigger threat um blue trades sh uh, wood for brick with uh with black and they build towards the um, 11 12 and three to one port with all the seven black discards again still uh block the six sheep and steal from red again a wood we trade with uh, blue we actually trade two times uh brick for uh, wood for brick seems like they have a lot of brick with the nines and tens we just build the road and i think we we leave it like that a seven by black now they block the eight or and steal from blue this time yeah, actually blue is one road away from taking longest black builds a road to the five wheat in the corner i don't know what the purpose of that is now 10 rolls giving everyone one brick one brick for each and now it's six there uh, everyone has sheep now except for us redman uh, red uh, accepts the trade and uh, we actually need to plow blue here and uh, steal the three to one port because they are already so far ahead it would have been better to build two roads to settle on the 11 12 but uh, that wasn't available black builds two settlements this uh, turn immediately wow good turn for black and uh, they're left with zero, zero cards in hand 
Red builds the uh, roads to um, double on the 8 ore and the uh, 10 brick and take the 3 to 1 for it. Blue takes longest road and they actually go to the 9 brick 3 for 1 instead of the instead of fighting with red for the the other port. Interesting. It's uh, quite a non-combative attitude from blue there. Now 4. Red trades a sheep for wheat and settles on the 8 ore. Doubles up on the 8 ore. 9 rolls. So red is actually not afraid of blue cutting them off on the uh, on the 10 brick 3 for 1. That's interesting. Blue settles on the uh, on the 9 brick 3 for 1 pot. And we roll a 7, block the 6 wheat again. Steal a sheep from blue. And now we need a brick. But um, I think it's better to to buy a dev cut here after trading wood for uh, ore. 12 rolls. And now blue actually gets an ore for that. Another 9. 8, finally. Or maybe 8 has rolled before. Yeah, uh, and another 8. Wow. So uh, our hand is full of sheep and red's hand is full of um, ore. But uh, we only trade the sheep for wood with black and um, sheep for brick with the bank. Now 5 rolls, we got the settlement in hand. Maybe finally able to settle on the wheat port. Black trades the uh, sheep for ore and uh, pops a death card. Red rolls a 5. And they need some wheat. They trade 4 ore for 1 wheat. Wow. We could have done a 2 for 1 or something. But um, yeah. Sadly they didn't go for it. Now a 6. And uh, only black is producing sheep now with the 6. We roll a 7. And uh, yeah, we were actually so far behind. Blue is uh, taking a huge lead, but red is also dangerous, I feel. And we we're trying to steal an ore, but it didn't go as planned, so we took red's wheat. Maybe they want it back with a 2 for 1 trade or something. We desperately need some ore because we are closing in on 5 settlements and uh, we need to, um, to build up. Black trade sheep for brick again and uh, build a road. 8 rolls. 8 ore is blocked. That's good. Not good for trading the ore, but good that they don't produce and use it. Wheat for... No, no trade happens. A 9. Another 9, I should say. Let's trade this with uh, for blue and they accept. Wheat for 2 brick. Let's see if we can get another wood or some... Um, yeah, we get wood from black. Some ore would have been needed, but um, yeah, it's not the right moment now. I mean, I don't think anyone will trade because 8 is blocked and uh, there's not much ore on the... Uh, there is some ore on the board actually, but uh, people are probably holding it for, uh, for their first city. Black trades wood for brick and build another road to the 3 to 1 port, trying to triple on the sheep, uh, 6 sheep. We take sheep for uh, ore with red and they accept. They do wheat for ore with uh, black. They trade wood for brick and they manage to settle on the 3 for 1 port, finally. So now red has a port and all 5 settlements used. First city of the game appears from black uh, from blue actually. So they have road, first city, and um, already another settlement spot available. So that's not good. Blue is a huge, huge, huge threat at this point. Should we buy another dev? Uh, we already have a knight, and we get the year of plenty. Okay. We need to use that for the city, I think, for a couple of wars. Uh, because we have no more settlements available. We already have the next settlement spot. But um, yeah, 
we cannot build a settlement before we build a city now so let's see how uh, how we can get there I don't know what our um, victory plan is here blue build another settlement and another road so they are now on eight points sitting pretty nicely it's visible but yeah I think they have a victory point because they never use the knights and they have been blocked almost all the game almost all game long and they never use the knight so or any other death card for that matter so they actually might be on nine points red rolls a seven and blocks the three wheat and steals from blue we extort red for a three for one trade we get a road and a sheep for a wheat and they only buy a death card with that. Your know, blue rolls a nine and they get a handful of brick. They already have another settlement spot. So um, yeah, they're quite dangerous. Let's try to do something here, but not much to be done. Use the knight, steal from blue. Trying to, to get some more death cards, maybe build a city and um, maybe sneak road as well 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 we actually have a chance to take road if blue doesn't extend but that's quite, uh, that's quite a stretch they have much better road building material and an 8 rolls okay this might be an opportunity for a city should we trade with blue? I think if there is no other option, we need to do it. Uh, even if they might win next uh, next turn, still trade the sheep for wood with um, with black. We're just trying to get as many points as possible. Another sheep for wood with black. We're trying to sneak the road this turn, and um, maybe build a city at the same time. Or just pop devs for the army. One dev gives us the army, knight in hand. Another dev, it's just another knight, that's not, not the best. Extend the road, we get to 9, but we still need a couple more roads to, um, to take it. So not possible this turn. Black actually extends, trade sheep for a brick and they managed to um, equalize blue and now they trade four sheep for another road and they managed to take road that's good that's good blue doesn't win this turn hopefully so nine rolls nine brick was blocked red uses a mono for only three sheep hmm interesting not uh, i don't think it's the best use of mono i think all the other sheep all red already had in their hand but they trade brick for ore and they uh, manage to city up only two cities this game one for blue one for red and now blue rolls a seven and blocks the six sheep of uh, black black might also be winning here so let's uh, let's block the 11 wheat and uh, steal from black they uh, okay. They have a knight, so they didn't didn't have two victory points. That was the um, the fear. The that black has two victory points and they might be able to win somehow. But uh, now they use the knight, so maximum of eight points for black. Well, red rolls a ten. They built some roads, useless because. Uh, there are no settlement spots available for red anymore in this game. Blue rolls a 7 and they discard some uh, road building material. They block the 6 sheep and um, steal from black. Take the road back with 12. So I think that's the end of our dreams of taking road. We roll a 7. Block blue again because I don't think black can, uh, can manage to take the road back. And we actually didn't uh, build a city, that's quite bad. We are now on um, 
7 points with the Almi. Pop another death, hope for a victory point. You have plenty again, okay. Uh, no point in building roads anymore. But uh, we need to use this year of plenty for uh, city, for sure, for sure. An 8 now. Red uses road building, useless again. I don't think they can take roads. No, they cannot. But um, yeah, there's nothing they can do. The only available settlement spots are now our brick port and um, blue has one settlement spot available on the 12th ore as well. So uh, that's everything that's available in uh, terms of settling. We managed to, um, to build our first city and we actually need to trade with blue. Unfortunately to, uh, to get as many points as possible. Blue might win next turn but we managed to get to 9 points. So um, at least we got that. It was, uh, it was such a struggle this game. And um, yeah, we built on the brick port. That pops another dev. So now the only available settlement spot on the board is 12 or 4 blue. No one else can, can settle anymore. I mean, black has already no settlements available. Blue and red have one settlement available. We also have none. But uh, blue rolls the 7 discards, but probably keeps um, a settlement and yes they do they build a settlement on the 12 ore and that's game we managed to end second with nine points that's not so bad and um yeah pretty exhausting game 89 turns almost an hour long but uh yeah gg well played was uh, was an, a nice one seven rolled 19 times 9 17 times and uh, 8 only 8 times, 6 10, 5 10, and 10 8 times. Uh, yeah, well, <laughs> resource stats look, uh, def yeah, resource cards stats look uh, interesting. Descending curve, 2 years of plenty were played by, uh, by yours truly. And activity stats, we actually got the most def cards and resource stats. Never uh, discarded for seven. Good resource management in hand, that's good. And not rubbed so much, so we are not a big threat all game. Maybe a bit at the end, still. Thank you all for watching, hope you enjoy it. Have a great day.